So the other day, Gaming Trend had an interview with Steel Wool Studios. Now, normally, I won't cover interviews. We've had a lot of interviews in the past with Scott, with Kieran from Illumix, but this one I wanted to talk about because the interviewer asked some pretty interesting questions. The interview starts off pretty solid, you know, some typical questions, what makes virtual reality different from traditional game development, what is a random bit of trivia about the studio that not a lot of people know, casual questions like that. You know, nothing out of the ordinary just yet. And then things started to get interesting. They said, the FNAF fandom is keen at finding hidden secrets in every FNAF game, but is there something in Help Wanted that the fans haven't found yet? And then another question that says, random question, the chest in FNAF 4, do you know anything about it? You don't have to answer this one, but it's kind of gnawing at me, ha huh? ha. Huh. So whoever this interviewer is, is not new to FNAF, and they want to find some secrets. So I thought, let's take a look at the interview. Uh, there is some pretty interesting facts that I want to hit upon that isn't just these two questions. There are a lot of other questions that I think are really cool. So let's hop into it. This is going to be a nice chill video besides the speculation parts of the video, but let's get into the interview. So the interview is called Let's Party. Steel World Studio CEO and co-founder on Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted Switch development. Released last week on the Nintendo Switch, Steel World Studios has finally brought the joy of creation of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted to the console slash portable hybrid. We got to speak with CEO and co-founder of Steel World Studios, Andrew Dayton, regarding the development of the Switchboard, as well as some interesting bits of trivia. And then it gets into the actual interview. The first question, it's hard to believe, but the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise is reaching its sixth anniversary this year. What can you say about the popularity of the series as a whole? We thought we knew how popular the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise was. We thought we knew how passionate the fan base is. They were even more kind, energetic, and supportive than we ever imagined. We are really lucky to be part of their world, even in a small way. With a vast array of titles under your belt, you are no stranger to the VR scene. What makes virtual reality different from traditional game development. There are different challenges for developing in VR. We have to consider the extra resources from a CPU slash GPU that the VR headset requires. Things like having to paint a picture with 16 colors versus 100. Every decision we make is very intentional in the design from both an aesthetic and gameplay point of view. What is a random bit of trivia about the studio that not a lot of people know? Our co-founder, Jason, is the encyclopedia of games. Whether it be a video game, board game, or tabletop game, he's played it. The Nintendo Switch version of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted utilizes HD Rumble as well as omits VR gameplay. What were some challenges in bringing the Switch version to life? The Switch has different permutations of control scheme that we had to account for that were different than VR. For instance, the Joy-Cons connected, Joy-Cons separated, Pro Controller, Handheld Mode, TV Mode, Switch Lite, etc. It is an incredible device. How did you decide on representation scenes for each of the games included within Help Wanted? We looked at all the Five Nights core games, the legacy levels that are the essential of the FNAF franchise, and we wanted to pay service to them while still being able to update them. So in our game, scenes may be familiar, but with cool new elements like seeing the animatronics actually walking around. And of course, the biggest source of help was Scott Cawthon himself. He is our Yoda. Scott Cawthon is usually a one-man team with his games, but this is the first project that he enlisted help from another company. How was it working with him during development of Help Wanted? He is what every indie game developer should strive to be. Passionate, creative, intuitive to his audience, he really cares about the fandom to his core, and that is inspiration for us. Apparently, there was one level that scared even him. How do you feel making a segment that terrified even the creator of the series? So, if you guys don't remember, when Scott was playing the game, I believe it was the, um, the dark rooms for Funtime Foxy. Um, Scott got jump scared by Funtime Foxy and he said that he threw his headset off his head and across the room. So this is what they're talking about. Haha, <laughs> it feels great. That's when you know you're getting in the lane and are on the right road. What's your favorite pizza place? I'm always open for recommendations. <laughs> 
I am from New York, so I can recommend almost any pizza joint you can find in the five boroughs and surrounding areas. What kind of pizza do you like? What's next for the future of Steel Wolf Studios? Okay, Steel Wolf's response to this is probably the best thing that I've ever seen. I could disclose that, but it would be a security breach. Like most everyone in the past recent months, the pandemic has made us stay indoors for quite a while. Has there been anything you've read or watched recently that you'd recommend? Oh man, that's tough. Just off the top of my head, my wife and I binged Picard, Ozark Season 3, The Last Kingdom Season 4, Blackwell Ghost, and currently watching The Great. I bet it's great. I haven't heard of any of those things, but I'm sure they're good. Finally, even though we still have two more questions that we gotta get into. Do you have any last words or pieces of advice for our readers? Maybe any random tidbits about FNAF knowledge from development? In the beginning of our development of Help Wanted, we hosted one of the internal art teams from a console partner to check out an early build at our studio. Since we don't have individual offices, we all sit in a common area. My desk is right next to the VR testing room that the teams were in. They were crammed in there taking turns with the door closed and the whole time I kept hearing screams and hysterical laughter from their teams. At that very moment, that is when I knew we were doing something special. For advice, I can share our studio motto, work hard, be nice to people. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted is available. Now, stay tuned for our review, as well as more news here on Gaming Trend. I'm not sponsored, but this article will be linked down in the description if you want to go check it out, even though I'm going through the whole thing right now, so... Yeah, okay, so, we skipped two questions, and those were the ones about the secrets, and the one about the FNAF 4 box. I don't know why they asked about the box, it's... It's, it's, it's crazy. It's been like five years, people are still obsessed about the damn box, but if you guys are interested about Steel Wolves' response, we're gonna go into that right now. Here we go. So the box, right? Random question, the chest in FNAF 4. Do you know anything about it? You don't have to answer this one, but it's kind of gnawing at me. Ha ha. Andrew. His response is answer redacted. Not quite the response I think we were all hoping for, but um, yep, it's there. They even have a little picture of the box saying, perhaps some things are best left forgotten for now. So, it's interesting, I don't know why, maybe the author, the interviewer, let's see, Elijah, maybe they are a true FNAF fan and they know about the box, and this was their opportunity to ask about the box. Now, Andrew's response is interesting. Because I don't know, and in fact, I don't think anyone knows this, if Scott told Steel Wolf anything about the box. Um, I'm sure this is truly just a random question, but I, I was surprised when I first read this article, and I was like, that's weird that they're asking about the box. So, it does really make you think, how much of the FNAF lore does Steel Wolf know? Because, technically, they are on the inside, you know? Scott... Steelwolf and Illumix, those are like the main three people. Maybe some voice actors, but I highly doubt it. Um, they are really the only people that know about the lore now. So, how much they know, I don't know. No one really knows besides, uh, you know, those three group of characters. Honestly, thinking about it, I don't think the box was ever going to be included in Help Wanted. I would be very surprised, actually, if we were playing through it and then at the very end, you know, we would open up the box. I think that would kind of be out of nowhere, um, and I definitely would it would not expect it from one of the AAA games, um, you know, AR or Help Wanted, I would not expect it from those games. I feel like if Scott were to ever open the box, if he ever wants to do anything with it, it would probably be in a game that he makes, whether it's Into Madness, whether it's um, another one of the uh, like Foxy Fighters Update 2 sort of games, if it's something like that. That's where I would expect it to be. Not in the AAA games, but yeah, maybe they were, maybe it was in there and they took it out. I don't know, maybe it was kind of like Showtime. Um, I really don't know. So why they asked about this, I don't know. Andrew's response is really interesting. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a reference to something, but I, geez, at this point I just forget what answer redacted is. And now, the one question we've all been waiting for. 
the final one, even though it was in the middle of the interview, the FNAF fandom is keen at finding hidden secrets in every FNAF game. But is there something in Help Wanted that the fans haven't found yet? Andrew, the CEO and co-founder of Steel Studios, his response, yes. Oh, did you expect me to say it? No dice. Steel Studios is hiding something from us. There is a secret, there is an easter egg, somewhere in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted that the fandom has not found in over a year. Any thoughts? No clue. See, it's weird, okay? Because going back to that last statement, it was only a couple days ago that it was Help Wanted's one year anniversary. People have the textures, I'm pretty sure they have the code, people are able to move around all the maps, they've brightened it up, they've, they've done everything, and yet, there's still a missing secret. The no dice response really makes me think, does it have something to, to do with dice? Does it have something to do with chance? Probably. The it's me easter egg that I found for game theory um, was entirely chance, so maybe it's something like that, where you have to get all three different posters, or maybe it's just a random easter egg. I don't know. I also don't know how connected Stuo Studios is with the fan base. If they have been paying super close attention, like, has anyone found this really secret easter egg? I don't know if they're on the lookout for people finding it, or if we did find it, and they just missed us finding it. I don't know. It's hard to tell, and I'm a little disappointed that we don't have any hints. Um, I, of course, didn't want them to say it, but, you know, any, any hints would have been nice, because I think it would be fun to revisit Help Wanted to find the secret. I would totally be up for it, um, but if they haven't given any secrets, then, I don't know, I don't really want to. A secret tape? Maybe, I guess that's a possibility. Something to do with Vanny and Gloodtrap, I'm sure that's probably it. Uh, I don't think it would be anything to do with Security Breach, because... As far as I'm aware, Help Wanted has not been updated since the holidays, I think, for the holiday, um, like, decorations and flat mode and stuff like that. They took it out eventually, but I don't think anyone found anything new, so what this secret is, I don't know. If you guys want to go look for it, apparently it's in there somewhere. So that was the entire interview. I really just wanted to pop on because I thought those two final questions... Um, really interesting. Why they talked about the box and this secret easter egg that Steel Wool is hiding from us, I thought those were interesting. I, I normally don't do news videos covering this sort of stuff, interviews, but it was interesting. So, there's that. The article, link down below, of course, you can read it for yourself, even though I covered everything that there is in it. There are a few screenshots of the game and the teaser for Security Breach, but that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah, go check it out if you want. Go find the secret, wherever it may be, I don't know. Good luck, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye.